Welcome to Hotel Football Old Trafford. My name is Stuart Proctor, I'm the Managing Director of GG Hospitality and we look forward to welcoming all the fans from all the clubs around the world to the first Hotel Football. We have 133 bedrooms and some fantastic offerings in our food and beverage outlets. Our rooms are going to offer the best night's sleep within our competitive set. We've opted for Hypnos beds, they're fit for the Queen, so they'll be certainly fit for our clients. We have complimentary mini bars in the rooms, complimentary Wi-Fi and a complimentary car park space. We also work with the local community and we have bespoke tailored pieces of art which have been worked up by Salford University. So every room has something special and unique. We also bring Cafe Football to Old Trafford, which is really exciting. We opened our first Cafe Football in London 14 months ago, and it's had some real successes. And over the time, we've evolved the menu. We're on our fourth menu now. So we've kept some of the classic dishes on there. The sausage roll, which got a super review from Jay Rayner, saying that he wanted to adopt it as his third child, and it also travelled onto the BBC One show. So that comes north. Some of the changes we've made, we've introduced Scolzi's dish. Scolzi is a steak pudding, chips, peas and gravy for the true northerner, which is, which is superb. And again, we, we've, we, we've opted for Vimto Ripple ice cream and a nice v Manchester tart. So again, we want to use the local ingredient that we've got around us. On the drink side of the menu, we've, we've brought some real good classics that we've evolved over time as well. We've got some super cocktails, we've got the Posh, which is a real success and um, hopefully it'll be successful in Manchester. Of course we've got the Red Devil and the Junior Red Devil that have gone down really well. We're also working with the local breweries because it's a, a real big scene, the ales around here, so we want to bring some of those on too. And to top it off, we've gone for a going for gold list, we've got some terrific wine um, starting around £14 up to your top end, so it's really been hand selected. The meeting rooms we've created are really flexible. They've all got floor to ceiling windows, really light and airy. In the stadium suite you could have a conference for up to 500 people or you could take the 92 room for, for a board, board meeting for four. Really is a lot of opportunity within the hotel. We've got this, the players lounge which you can have your conference there and it's got the grazing buffet area which you can just relax. So from a formal meeting to an informal a meeting, we'd like to think that we've covered all bases. On a match day, the place turns red. We're offering the ultimate experience for a Manchester United fan. We're housing 800 people in their own supporters club with memorabilia from their trips around Europe, which really is special. We've got the cafe, we have heaven, and we have the stadium suite, which offering a real flexible range from a pint of lager at £3.50 up to what eating Michael Wignall's foods at £145 with, with Ryan Giggs and Gary and Paul and Nikki and Philip all taking part throughout the day and that's really a great opportunity for the, f the real fans to come and meet their legends so it'd be a really special place to be. We we'll probably have around 1,500 fans within our building before every game so we can't wait to, to turn on the lights for those nights and days. Like you say Janet, after four years of in the planning and um, sitting and having meetings and um, trying to pick all the details and put on over our ideas to the architects and to the builders it's, it's obviously great to see it finished and up and running and seeing people enjoy it getting the feedback but I must say really pleased with, with how everything's gone. So what's your favourite part of Hotel Football? Well because we've only just opened I think that instantly the vibe that you get in, in Cafe Football is um, similar to the one we've got in London and uh, I would say at the moment this is my, my favourite space but also I'm looking forward to, to heaven as well to, to see the people's reactions and the different um, events that can be held up there. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes but at the moment with us being open a week um, I must say instantly I feel at home and um, I, I think it's captured that vibe straight away in, in cafe football.